Over the past few weeks, a lot of people have asked me why I chose Devin Driscoll, a man that I do not like to challenge for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship tomorrow night in Kingsport. This story starts with me. You can look at me right now, as real as real gets. I need to shave. My hair is messed up. I'm recording this with no fancy production from my home camera inside of my home. This is as real as it gets. I don't have the sports background of a Sam Mushnick. I don't have the television clearances that Jim Crockett had. I don't have the legal acumen of a Bruce Tharp. And I don't have the money of a Billy Corgan. But what I have in the NWA is sweat equity. I worked for this. 2011, as an up-and-coming promoter, I joined the National Wrestling Alliance. And from the very beginning, I dealt with strange rules, politics, a good old boys network that may not, not have necessarily wanted a person like me in their fold to be the number one promoter. But despite all that, for all those years, through two different regimes, I kept my head down and we worked. You see, I may not come from privilege. I may not come from money. I may not have fancy suits. Hey, I'm just a poor kid that grew up in Kingsport, Tennessee that worked his ass off to become the flagship promoter for the National Wrestling Alliance for over five years. And that's a, main, a position I maintained. Bruce Stark may have owned the NWA. I was the NWA. I brought you guys like Chase Owens, Jason Kincaid, the Heat Seekers. I had every championship defended in Kingsport at my location. I promoted more NWA World's Heavyweight Championship than any man in the last decade. I did it with no sponsors, with no budget, with my own personal money that I made through professional wrestling. Not through anything else, not through outside businesses. Money that I made through professional wrestling on a shoestring budget, I became the best. And I maintained that role until the day that Billy Corgan purchased the NWA. Now I've watched what they've done with the NWA, the 10 Pounds of Gold series. It's phenomenal, it's great. Slickly produced, they made, they've made stars off of that. And now they have a great NWA World Heavyweight Champion. I am more proud of this brand to date that I'm not officially involved than I was all the time I was because I can see the potential. They have done great things. That's why I need to be in. After everything I've done, I can't be the guy sitting on the outside. So I chose the man who I knew would do anything it took to become NWA's World's Heavyweight Champion. Devin Driscoll, I may not like him at all. Matter of fact, you know what? I hate his guts. But he does what it takes to win at all costs, and I need that. I went through depression. I sat in my house, in my bedroom. I didn't talk to my wife. I didn't talk to my kids. I wouldn't answer Facebook messages, emails, calls, nothing. I sat there for three months depressed because I could no longer live my dream of being an NWA promoter. But tomorrow night I chose the man that can get me back in the fold. He can win the championship and then I can no longer be ignored. Once again, I can be the man who controls the NWA. I can be the number one promoter in the NWA. There will be no choice but to deal with me. The spot that I've worked for, I will get back tomorrow night. It won't be the era of extreme. It won't be the era of tradition. Tomorrow night begins the era of innovation.